Franco, last weekend, how much was that, I suppose, a little bit of a wake-up call, maybe, for the players? Yeah, well, that's, that's the cliche you say, um, you learn more out of defeats than winning, so I think there's a few lessons for us out in the field on, on, on Sunday, so we'll take it on the, on the chin, um, wasn't our best performance, like I said, we probably learned more from, from losing the match as we would have by winning it, so I think Worcester was a better side on the day, so it's at least so for them. And fingers crossed, I suppose, in the long run, it could actually be a good thing if you can get back to the level that the performances were, because you're going to need to be there, aren't you, at the end of the season? Yeah, absolutely. I think if you look at the, the history of the team, we always come back after a defeat like that, so it is in our character to fight back. It is a part of our DNA, so I've got no doubt in the players that we'll be back on top of it this weekend. And Newcastle, obviously, a little bit like Worcester, fighting for their lives, so you're going to need to be, I suppose, absolutely at it, because... You know, you're playing against desperate opposition. Yeah, it does make it quite interesting. Um, I think they're all playing for survival at the moment. I know Worcester had to win that game to, to secure their spot. And Newcastle's bottom at the, off the lock at the moment. So, I mean, we also have something to play for. It's not just them that's got something to play for. Um, like I said, we just, we just want to prove our quality out in the field. It's not about winning or, or losing at the, at the end of the day. You just want to play to your potential. Or potential. And I think that's where, probably where we disappointed over the weekend is the fact that we didn't necessarily play the way we wanted to play and didn't play to our potential. So hopefully against Newcastle this weekend we can just stick to our structure and, and get the best out of us. And those one or two things that weren't quite there, are they relatively straightforward things to put right? Is it sort of maybe more in the head than, than anything else? Yeah, 100%. We, we had a good look at, at the game this, this morning. Um, probably had our longest meeting of the whole year as well. And it's, it's, it's small little things that we just didn't get right. It's, it's probably one or two places too late or too early that, that we missed. We're usually, like I said, we, we would have been on top of it, but we just missed it a little bit over the weekend. Um, but it's no concern at all for us. We will definitely be back at it. Different scenario for you, in as much as you had different pair of props packing down alongside you. Um, I mean, I suppose the way that it's been with Fraser and with Josh, they've been so regular in the, in the side. Um, how different was it having uh, Val and, and Gareth in there? Yeah, well, Val and Gareth are really good scrummagers. Um, they really proud themselves on it. So Gary, um, Gary actually gave us a, quite a, quite a um, like headache at training over the last month or two, really proving his worth. So it's been good to, to pack next to them. Um, like I said, they all bring something different to the game, so it's it's good fun to play with with different props, and then yeah, as long as as they just bring whatever uniqueness they want to bring to the game.